Hello and welcome! My name is Akira and this is my Let's Play series of Europa and Salis 4 where we are playing as Prussia. We just humiliated one of our rivals in Bohemia and for some reason, well, for some reason, our army is too big so um, we don't really have room for it in many places so we have to fill the movie to Griftswald. Just gonna move the navy there as well. Um, I think I want to add. Oh, that's too many. That's just you. Just want to have at least half half of our army being able to get on board our navy at one time. So Denmark is at war with Scotland and has rebels. Like for some reason, this um, this haven't gone away yet. So even though people have. Almost no aggressive expansion on me anymore. I'm not sure what the lower limit is. Oh, but they are leaving now. Okay, so apparently, maybe they were keeping, being able to keep in in because of the war or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I want to have a guy spy on you. And yeah, I guess I want to have. Actually, I would rather have the guys spy on Denmark. I think we're gonna go to war with Denmark next. So we might as well get a guy to help us get some faster sieges there. I think I have all the claims I need. Holstein, Fyns, Jelland, Skåne. That would be a nice game, as well as Lolland, of course. Um, especially taking this would be really nice. The sound tall. And he's in trouble right now. He has a lot of... Probably means that neither he nor his friend in the Sweden has any... So he has 24,000 men. He actually have quite a lot of manpower. He has 21 mercenaries. No artillery. But Sweden, the other guy with... Um, the other guy with Space Marines, Sweden... Sweden has 17,000. He hasn't no merch, but he has cannons. What ideas do you have, Sweden? So you have administrative trade. So you do have your combat ability, which you get from the get-go, because why not? Paradox, why wouldn't you spoil Sweden? Uh, and you have your discipline again. And your But you don't have any military ideas yet, so I think we'll have no problem killing you. So I think Denmark is next. I would prefer not having to kill the um, rebels though. So once they're out of Shellen I might actually... Can you be in Rostock? Yeah you can. So let's just have... You'll just stay here. And... So our second king died and we got a French... So we turned this around. A couple of episodes ago I was talking about maybe getting our uh, line on France, France, the French throne, but now we have the France line on our throne. And if this guy dies as well, it will be a succession war between France and Lithuania. So let's hope for an heir. Uh, do we need to refresh our royal marriages then? Yes we do. So let's just do that. Well, I don't, I think, get this guy back. So Scotland actually ended up losing that war. Interesting. Um, we want a royal marriage here. And we want a royal, we already have the royal marriage here, so. And we have really low legitimacy now. Why would Danish noble rebels come down here? Yeah, I think we declare war on Denmark now. Do I want to get a little bit of manpower back first? Yeah, I guess I do. I 
It's not like he's in his in a good position. Like I would actually prefer if he would take his army horn and get rid of those uh, rebels before I attack him. Uh, let's get the diplo points. And two ideas left here. We are so far ahead of time on admin. I really need to conquer some more stuff. And they are insulting us. It's almost like they are daring me to attack him. A cottage industry. So we can either get two base production or we can gain loyalty and tax. The only thing to stop me would be if they had too high influence, but they don't, so let's by all means do that. And their advancement of nobility ended. Um, let's just grab them an admiral ship, get some more trade efficiency. And was it a good admiral? And can we keep him? Uh, he has no, he has no maneuver, so there's no reason to put him on the. Um, trade fleet, so I'm just gonna put him on my main fleet here. We have some transports here ready. Oh, that load legitimacy really sucks. Can't remember, I think it's... I think it's diplomatic that gives a, a legitimacy. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of man, uh, military power though. Twelve. Well, I, I think I'm gonna keep keep that focus because it's, it doesn't seem like we need the diplomatic focus to keep up here. We are on on time here, and uh, we're getting those two. Um, I don't think we need the focus there, especially not with a plus three guy. So I'd rather have the diplo my military points than dump it into uh, militarization in case we we get too many. And people are leaving the coalition. There are no more, well there are Munster in the coalition, but there are effectively no more coalition. Who are you? Do what are you doing, Lübeck? You are in a war with Utrecht and France. That's not smart of you. That means Utrecht might not even join here. Well, it actually means Utrecht might not exist for very long, because I guess it's not... It's probably you wanting to kill... Let's check the war. It is. Yeah, it's France. Um, oh, it's it's Utrecht and France attacking these guys. So Utrecht probably will still want want to. He'll probably not be in any danger. Might as well just do it. We don't want to do this. We want to take some land. We want to take Shelland. I do kind of want to get these. I don't want to be finding his noble rebels. I think I'm gonna wait for those rebels to go away. I'm just gonna keep maintenance up. Oh, now he's away from Silen though. I think... I think I'll go to war now and then go directly to Silen. I'm gonna call in the Palatinate to take care of Utrecht. I might as well call in... I think I have plenty of favors for Lithuania. Yeah, so I might as well call you in to t deal with Livonian Order. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call both guys in, so I only have to worry about Denmark. I'm gonna declare for Schillen. And then I'm gonna take my guys there directly. Kill that fleet pretty. Did I lose ships? I think there's some kind of... Um, some kind of bug with the whole um, showing what we lost. Uh, Denmark lost quite a lot of ships. Um, yeah, you just protect power and Lübeck. I think that's fine. 
call him. Let's improve in France again. Let's improve here again. Let's just wait and see. So, um, well, that's mostly Frenchmen. Pretty sure Platinum can take care of Utrecht. Um, yeah, they're taking a while to go over there. The question is if I should probably. Could I also just go here and take Holstein? Or take the other leader here and go and kick his army up here, his ass, and then take a few? But the, the good thing with rebels is that even if rebels control uh, the fortresses, they don't ex uh, they don't have any sort of control. So even if, though there's a maintained fort here, it has no uh, sort of control. So if I go here and act I'll, I'll actually take over their um, siege here, and I could walk on if I wanted to. Uh, let's just let's just take the money because I am gonna. I'm gonna have to be buying this colonialism as soon as I can, because we are in in a in a state here, in a sorry state. Do we need any of you to go and pay? Oh, might as well. Might as well kill some more of the, his ships there. Killing, 5,000 men gone, and we, oh, he didn't have, either he didn't have any progress or you can't take over progress from your enemies. And Münster now left the coalition again, uh, as well, so we have, we still have some aggressive expansion down here, but not a lot. How much would we get if we took just the things we have claims on? These are the things we have claims on, right? So if we just took those things, we would get a lot, a lot of aggressive expansion once again. So I might not want to take all of it. I might want to take just this. It will be a lot less because there's no HRE land. This is of course HRE and will give a lot more. So, I probably need um, I kind of want So are you blockaded? You are. Uh, get rid of the blockade for what are you talking about? Sorry, I didn't get that. It's just someone asking in the chat, or saying something in the chat. Probably giving me some sound advice that I just don't really know what he's saying. And we are getting attacked by his Pretendo Rebels. Sorry, sorry De Denmark, you're just not having a good day. I should have a... didn't I have a general for this? He died. Of course he did. And you're also blockaded, so that's at least at least something. So you have no siege modifier, but you have cannons. So let's start by having you go to Fyn and send the cannons to Midland. And there's no reason why we have all of these guys here then, so let's just send this guy to Neuland. Which is where I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting just around around here. That's where I'm sitting. Currently. Yeah, I think he was actually just um, for some reason going through my land to get up here. Um, so 
Heaven one is is talking about why the rebels went through my lands. It might have been because of blockades, but my blockades actually don't work on him unless I'm at. I f I don't think my blockades work on him even if. If if I was in war with Denmark, I think the reason he was going through my lands is, was to get up here. But you might be right. He's saying that it might be because of the blockades that he he was going through my lands instead of going up here. But I don't think rebels care about that. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Might as well go down there. Which will force his navy out so I can destroy that. I guess Sweden has low liberty desire a high liberty desire. No, he's just not helping. Need to get some more coffee after this episode. Very important. And yeah, he his navy got. Oh, and it was just when our trade ships were there, so he's just gonna get annihilated. Might as well go to. Well, I guess I have to wait until the naval battle is over. Battle is over. Yeah, we destroyed, destroyed it. Got we even got a galley, which I'm not gonna keep. Uh, and do I have to stop you so I can get that galley out? Or was it just because you were trying to get someplace else? I think maybe it was there for... Anyway, uh, you go away. I don't want you. And now we can give you to Sko get you to Skåne. Just to start that siege up. And we might as well then send them. Um, I think we march you here and then we go um, with the transports and take Bonholm. Oh, we should probably take Halstein first. So you go to the transports. Oh, you are, you are the cannons. I will get this right at some point. Fastest would probably be for you to go to Chelan, then go on board, and go out here, and then you go here in case Sweden comes along. You go to Bonholm. There's a lot of forts we need to get through. Wondering how many of them we need to take to get a hundred war score. We can invest in admin tech, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna. We can still store a couple hundred power, so we're gonna wait. I don't think we'll get colonial this mid time, but you might as well go here. Well, you're gonna have to get those. Oh, we took Skona really quickly. Um, I think I wanna go and take Gotland. So I'm gonna take you guys. Hey, go there. You go there. Why can't you go there? This is because. Oh, that's a. What was there? Okay. So I guess we have you go here. Then we have you go to Gotland instead. And you can neither go to one, you can go to neither of those because of small land. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course there would be rebels there. I guess we go take the rest of the guys. No, you go there. Then we take that over. There's a Danish army up here in Stockholm. Um, now he's attacking our cannons. Yeah, I think it's still easier to go to Skåne and then have him go that way. And then we go up here. 
And of course, we, our cannons will be suffering the first couple of ticks there, but then we stack wipe Danish army, so I think that all in all was a pretty good exchange. So how much do we need to leave? We need to leave six. How many cannons do we actually need? We need to leave all ten cannons, so uh, leave the cannons and some infantry. And then we have the rest. Oh, we can't have all of them go there. We only can have 15, right? So we leave two more infantry. And now we can go there. And then since we are here, can we have the infantry go here? No, we can't. So we just stay there. In case they come along with another army. And we get another diplomatic relation, so now we can actually, we could pick up Saxony again if we wanted to. No, well you could, once the army's, the, the army wants the war is over, we could pick them up again. Oh, that was such bad timing, if we had killed them just before they took over the castle we were taking over the progress. Now we just have to fight his rebels to get... Is it worth it? It probably is. Just have him to fight his rebels. We are Prashidor. That was pretty, pretty, pretty fast. And if we get a breach we're definitely gonna take it. 380 soldiers. So, what did we want to take? I don't think we want to take anything else but this. Like, if we take Holstein, gonna have a, gonna have coalition problems again. So, I'd rather just take these three provinces and um, and then humiliate. We can't even take humiliate. Well, we can take war reps at least. Give up claims. I kind of want you to not have any relationship with Poland though. I think this is the piece we go for. Uh, seat, three provinces. Four provinces actually. Do we have claims on all four? Yeah, we do have claims on all four. So we do that, take four, two of them. This one is important, this one is important because of the castle, which we then don't wanna, don't have to deal with anymore. Um, still ahead of time. Once the siege is over, I'll get the cannons out to Gotland and have this army back here. Newborn daughter. So I can get a woman, uh, no, a noble. I can declare him a new heir. Why will she be a noble? And I would lose 10 legitimacy, or I can get minus 100% chance of a new heir. That's not nice. It's only for a year though. Oof. 10 legitimacy is a lot to pay. And we don't have any. It's. Seven or eight years worth of legitimacy gain. It is a 155 though, so that's worth taking into account. That's a lot of points. That's way above average. This is 11 points and average is about 9, so... I think I think I will take it. Let's just... Uh, let's just be Prussian... Prussian... We even get a consort out of this. With... Ooh. The house of von Bittelbach, that's our own house. Our old old house. Interesting. Uh, what do we want to call her? Hitwig. Oh, we get the print the achievement for it even though she's not um I don't I don't like Hitwig. Agnes, Sabina, Paula. I 
think we call her Louise. She is French after all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, we still have a ways to go with the Danish war, so it's not going to be gonna end it anytime soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. If you did, consider a like button, subscribing. Hope to see you next time, and until then, have a good day.